Did you know it's possible to get a web browser on your Google Pixel Watch and browse the web right on your wrist? In this video, we'll look at how to do this and explore what it's like and what's possible. But first, if you have a Google Pixel Watch or other Wear OS smartwatch and are looking for apps to expand the functionality of your watch, be sure to check out my calculator app for Wear OS, as well as my tennis score tracking app, Tennis Tracker. They're both available in the Play Store. Find links to these apps in the video description. Now I must preface this in saying the actual usefulness of a web browser on your watch is quite limited. As the web just is not designed for such a small screen, text generally becomes unreadable, buttons are too small to easily tap, slow loading times, your watch is not going to be your go-to web surfing device anytime soon. The app I'm using is the Samsung Internet Browser app. And though it's made by Samsung, it is also compatible with the Google Pixel Watch, which is what I am using here. Upon opening, you're greeted with a start page with your bookmarks. From here, you can, for example, go to Google, and it loads Google's website. And then just tap on the search text box to bring up a keyboard and type. It's kind of like browsing on your phone, just on a much, much smaller screen. You navigate using touch, and you can even use the crown on the Pixel Watch to scroll the web page. Now, being that the web is designed for screens with square edges, and this device's screen is a circle, web pages appear cropped. But Samsung has designed a way to access the cropped out areas. Swipe in from where the corner would be to move the web viewing area and reveal the edges of the web page. Swipe up from the bottom to access a menu where you can add the page being viewed as a bookmark as well as access a couple other options. When using this on a Pixel Watch, there does not appear to be a browser back button. The usual back gesture on Wear OS swiping to the right simply returns you to the start page, not the previously viewed web page. Looking online, it appears to go back you would use a hardware button set up to go back, which could be set up on a Samsung Galaxy watch. But since there is not a way to remap the physical buttons on a Pixel watch, it appears you cannot navigate to a previous page. Now what can you do with a web browser on a Pixel watch? Simple web browsing works all right. Google searches, looking up things on Wikipedia, viewing a news article, looking up sports scores, and even some online shopping load on the Pixel Watch OK. YouTube also surprisingly does work, somewhat. It, it takes a bit of time to load, and the playback controls are challenging to use on such a small screen, but it works. It plays audio by default through the built-in Pixel Watch speaker. And if you have Bluetooth earbuds connected, it will play audio through those. You could even use this as a way to get ChatGPT on your wrist. Log in to ChatGPT's website, and now you can quickly ask the AI chatbot questions right on your watch. Since the keyboard lets you input text with your voice, you can thus use the microphone to input your prompt. And so, if you've wanted to surf the web on your Google Pixel Watch, I can confirm to you it is possible thanks to the Samsung Internet Browser app for Wear OS. Though with no website designed for such a form factor, I'm uncertain how practical it is. Would you get a web browser on your smartwatch? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time.